February 2nd, 1977, in the vibrant city of Barranquilla, Colombia, a woman named Nidia del Carmen Torado gave birth to a baby girl. She named her Shakira Isabel Mebarak Ripple, and she is the only child of William Mebarak Chadid and Nidia Ripple Torado. At that time, her parents didn't know that their baby girl would become one of the biggest star in this world. Shakira was born in a rich heritage of Spanish and Lebanese roots. Her story unfolded against the backdrop of diverse influences. Her father, William, a New York City native of Lebanese descent, moved to Colombia with his family at a young age. On her mother's side, the Ripoll and Toredo surnames traced back to Catalonia with roots reaching Colombian shores in the 19th century. Shakira proudly embraced her multicultural identity even revealing distant Italian ancestry through the name Pisciotti. Raised in a Catholic household, Shakira attended Catholic schools and spent her youth in the coastal city of Barranquilla. Amidst the warmth of the Northern Caribbean coast, her creative spirit began to blossom. At the tender age of four, Shakira penned her first poem, La Rosa de Cristal, The Crystal Rose. The artistry in her family didn't skip a generation, she watched her father weave stories on a typewriter, inspiring her to request one as a Christmas gift at seven. Little did anyone know that this typewriter would become the birthplace of her poetic journey, evolving into the soulful lyrics of her future songs. Tragedy struck early in Shakira's life when her older half-brother passed away in a motorcycle accident at the age of 19. Channeling her grief into creativity, at eight years old, she composed her first song, Tus gafas oscuras, your dark glasses, a poignant reflection on her father's enduring sorrow. Shakira's journey into the world of music took an unexpected turn during a visit to a local Middle Eastern restaurant with her father at the age of four. Mesmerized by the sounds of the dumbek, a traditional Middle Eastern drum, she danced on the table, marking the moment she realized her calling as a performer. Despite facing rejection for her strong vibrato in the second grade school choir, Shakira's passion for singing and dancing persisted. Her hyperactivity often led to her being sent out of class, earning her the nickname, the belly dancer girl. Undeterred by criticism, she found solace in live performances and vowed to use her future fame to make a difference. Between the ages of 10 and 13, Shakira's talent gained recognition in Barranquilla. A chance encounter with theater producer Monica Ariza changed her life when she convinced Sony Columbia executive Ciro Vargas to audition Shakira. Though met with initial skepticism, Shakira's audition in Bogota impressed Sony Columbia executives enough to secure a record deal for three albums. And so began the extraordinary tale of Shakira's journey from a spirited young girl in Barranquilla to a global sensation leaving an indelible mark on the world of music and fulfilling the promise she made to herself as a child to help those in need. At the tender age of 13, Shakira, a Colombian songbird, burst onto the scene with her debut album, Magia. This collection of songs, written since she was eight, blended pop rock ballads with disco beats, showcasing her early talent. Though Magia charmed Colombian radio, commercially it wasn't a hit, selling a mere 1,200 copies worldwide. Despite the lukewarm reception, Shakira's label encouraged her to keep singing. Soon, opportunity came knocking in the form of the Vina del Mar International Song Festival in Chile. This prestigious event offered aspiring Latin American singers a chance to shine, and Shakira, with her powerful voice and captivating stage presence, grabbed it. Her soulful ballad, Eras, resonated with the judges, including a young Ricky Martin, and Shakira walked away with the third place trophy. Fueled by this win, Shakira released her second album, Peligro. However, the final product left her feeling unsatisfied, particularly with the production. Though commercially it did better than Magia, Shakira's refusal to promote it limited its success. Determined to complete her education, Shakira took a break from recording to focus on graduating high school. During this time, she even dabbled in acting, starring in the Colombian TV series, The Oasis. Though her early albums haven't achieved mainstream recognition, 
they serve as a testament to Shakira's early talent and her unwavering pursuit of her musical dreams. They were stepping stones on her path to becoming the global superstar she is today. After two commercially unsuccessful albums, Shakira's career hung by a thread. But her song, Donde Estas Corazon, became a surprise hit in Colombia, convincing Sony to give her a shot at redemption. In 1995, she poured her heart and soul into her third album, Pies Descalzos, infusing it with diverse musical influences and a touch of Alanis Morissette's angst. The album exploded, becoming an international success and spawning six hit singles. Shakira embarked on her first tour, Tour Pies Descalzos, and swept the 1997 Billboard Latin Music Awards. Pies Descalzos sold over 5 million copies, solidifying Shakira's place in the music world. Inspired by a stolen suitcase filled with lyrics, Shakira released her next album, Donde Están Los Ladrones, in 1998. It became an even bigger hit, topping the US Latin Albums chart and selling over 7 million copies worldwide. Eight singles became radio staples and Shakira earned her first Grammy nomination. With critically acclaimed live performances like MTV Unplugged and electrifying tours like Tour Amphibio, Shakira cemented her status as a rising star. Awards and nominations poured in, including an MTV Video Music Award for Ojo Sassi. By 2000, Shakira was poised to conquer the world stage, with her vibrant music and captivating presence ready to ignite the fire of global superstardom. Fresh off the success of her albums and MTV Unplugged performance, Shakira embarked on a bold project, conquering the English-speaking world. With the help of Gloria Estefan, she dived headfirst into learning English and crafting new music. Whenever Wherever or Suerte in Spanish served as the fiery first single, its Andean flair igniting charts worldwide. It became her first major US hit, paving the way for her English debut album, Laundry Service. The album exploded onto the scene, debuting at number three on the Billboard 200 and selling like crazy. Tracks like Underneath Your Clothes and Objection Tango kept the momentum going, solidifying Shakira's presence in the mainstream American market. While some critics grumbled about her English skills, the album became a global phenomenon, selling over 13 million copies and making her the biggest Latin female crossover artist ever. Shakira didn't stop there. She teamed up with Pepsi for promotional songs, performed iconic covers at major awards shows, and even joined forces with musical powerhouses like Cher and Whitney Houston. By the end of 2002, she had swept MTV Video Music Awards, both international and Latin American, a Latin Grammy, and countless other accolades. To celebrate her triumphant journey, she embarked on the epic Tour of the Mongoose, captivating audiences across the globe. Shakira's English crossover wasn't just an album release, it was a cultural landmark. This determined Latina, armed with her powerful voice, infectious music, and newfound language skills, had broken down barriers and conquered hearts, forever changing the landscape of pop music. In 2005, Shakira released her sixth album, Fijacion Oral Volume 1, with a bang. The lead single, La Tortura, featuring Alejandro Sanz, became a global hit, even breaking barriers by being one of the first Spanish songs performed at the MTV Video Music Awards. The album itself was a smash, topping charts and earning numerous awards. Shakira then followed it up with Oral Fixation Volume 2, her second English album. While the lead single, Don't Bother, didn't quite take off in the US, the album itself did well. But it was the second single, Hips Don't Lie, featuring Wyclef Jean, that truly stole the show. It became Shakira's first number one hit in the US and conquered charts worldwide, even getting a special bamboo version for the 2006 FIFA World Cup. Shakira's musical journey didn't stop there. She collaborated with other big names like Carlos Santana and Beyonce, and even wrote songs for a movie based on a Gabriel Garcia Marquez novel. Throughout 2006 and 2007, she kept releasing hits, touring the world and breaking records. 
It was a time of incredible success and creative exploration for the Colombian superstar. In 2008, Shakira was riding high. She was one of the top earning female musicians, had a massive $300 million deal with Live Nation, and even performed at Barack Obama's inauguration. But she wasn't just about the money and fame. She lent her voice to iconic artists like Mercedes Sosa and collaborated with South African group Freshly Ground for the upcoming World Cup. Then came She Wolf, her new album. Critics loved it. It topped charts worldwide and even snagged a spot on best albums lists. Still, it wasn't her biggest seller, but the four singles kept the party going. But Shakira wasn't done making history. She teamed up with Freshly Ground again, this time for the official song of the 2010 World Cup. Waka Waka became a global phenomenon, the best-selling World Cup song ever, and Shakira even performed it at the kickoff and closing ceremonies. Talk about leaving your mark on the world. So while 2009 might not have been her peak in terms of album sales, it was definitely a year of collaboration, cultural impact, and making history with the power of music. Shakira's musical journey continued in 2010 with the release of her acclaimed album, Sail El Sol. It topped charts, garnered awards, and saw hits like Loca conquer the airwaves. Shakira's star power extended beyond music. She graced Dora the Explorer, joined forces with Pitbull on Get It Started, and even became a coach on The Voice. Collaborations with Yvette Sangalo and Usher solidified her global reach. Motherhood brought a brief pause, but Shakira's creative fire never died. Her self-titled album in 2014 marked a new chapter, debuting at number two on the Billboard charts. Hits like Can't Remember to Forget You and La 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 cemented her position as a global superstar, and her performance at the World Cup closing ceremony was a true highlight. In 2016, Shakira was busy. She voiced Gazelle in Zootopia, started work on a new album, and released hit songs like La Bicicleta and Chantage. But just as she was getting ready to hit the road with her El Dorado world tour, disaster struck. Shakira suffered a vocal cord hemorrhage and had to postpone the whole tour. Determined to recover, Shakira took a break and focused on healing. By 2018, she was back and better than ever kicking off the El Dorado World Tour in Hamburg, Germany. The tour took her across Europe, Asia, North America, and finally, Latin America, where she wrapped things up in her home country of Colombia. Shakira's hard work paid off. The El Dorado World Tour was a huge success, and she even landed a coveted spot performing at the Super Bowl Live halftime show alongside Jennifer Lopez. Despite the challenges, Shakira's talent and perseverance shone through making 2019 and 2020 incredible years for her career. In 2021, Shakira sold her song collection to Hypnosis Songs Fund. She then released a few singles, including Don't Wait Up and Girl Like Me. In 2022, she worked on her upcoming album, which she described as electronic with hints of urban and rock music. She also won an award for her songwriting and served as an executive producer for a dance reality show. In 2023, Shakira released two hit singles, Shakira, Bees Arp Music Sessions, Volume 53, and TQG. In February 2024, she announced her new album, Las Mujeres Ya No Lauren. Once upon a musical journey, Shakira revealed the intricate tapestry of influences woven into her enchanting melodies. In her own words, she described her music as a fusion of diverse elements, a continuous experiment that defied categorization. With a disdain for self-imposed limitations, she declared, I try not to limit myself or put myself in a category or be the architect of my own jail. From the very beginning, Shakira drew inspiration from a myriad of sources. Oriental and Indian music danced through the corridors of her early works, leaving an indelible mark on her artistic expression. The rich tapestry of her Arab heritage played a pivotal role, evident in the mesmerizing rhythms of her breakthrough hit, Ohos Asi. 
In a conversation with Portuguese TV, she disclosed, many of my movements belong to Arab culture, underscoring the profound influence of her roots. Her parents too were maestros shaping the symphony of her musical style. Andean and South American folk music found a home in her creations, with native instrumentation lending a heartbeat to her Latin dance pop tunes. Her Spanish albums, such as Pais Descalzos and Donde Están Los Ladrones, became a harmonious blend of folk melodies and Latin rock. The crossover to English with Laundry Service marked a new chapter. Pop rock and pop Latino embraced her sound, a reflection of her diverse lineage. Shakira, the fusion herself, acknowledged, I am a fusion. That's my persona. I'm a fusion between black and white, between pop and rock, between cultures. Her mixed ethnicity, a blend of her Lebanese father, Spanish mother, Colombian folklore and Arab dance echoed in the eclectic notes of her music. The influence of Arabian and Middle Eastern motifs persisted, notably in tracks like Eyes Like Yours or Ojos Asi. With Laundry Service serving as a canvas for her sonic exploration, the album embraced various musical genres. Tango, the fiery dance born in Argentina, waltzed into Objection Tango, a spirited fusion of rock and roll featuring a guitar solo and rap-like vocals. In the realm of She-Wolf, an electro-pop masterpiece, Shakira embarked on a sonic experimental journey. Drawing inspiration from Africa, Colombia, India, and the Middle East, she immersed herself in research, blending electronics with world sounds, tambourines, clarinets, oriental and Hindu music, and dance hall. The musical odyssey continued with Sail El Sol in 2010, a return to her roots, Ballads, rock anthems, and Latin dance beats echoed through the album, epitomizing the diverse facets of Shakira's artistic prowess. In 2017, Deutsche Welle's Kate Muser marveled at Shakira's globalized sound, where Latin beats intertwined seamlessly with Middle Eastern and world elements, creating a musical experience that transcended borders. And so the tale of Shakira's ever-evolving musical landscape unfolded, a testament to the boundless nature of her creative spirit. ¿Qué tal amigos? Yo soy Shakira y los invito a que adquieran mi más reciente trabajo discográfico titulado Magia. Young Shakira wasn't just another kid singing pop tunes. She rocked out to Led Zeppelin and Nirvana, her head bopping to the sounds of The Police and U2. But her musical heroes weren't all from the rock scene. Gloria Estefan's Latin rhythms had her swaying, and Madonna's fierce spirit resonated with her. Alanis Morissette's raw emotions and Sheryl Crow's soulful voice found a place in her heart, too. Even Mark Anthony and Meredith Brooks's sounds left their mark. But it was Depeche Mode's Enjoy the Silence that truly sparked her love for pop music, igniting a flame that would burn bright for years to come. Shakira wasn't just a singer, though. She was a dancer, a mover, a captivating force on stage. Her unique style blended the fiery passion of Latin dances with the mesmerizing undulations of belly dancing, an inheritance from her Lebanese roots. Her hips swayed with a life of their own, inspiring songs like Fifth Harmony's Brave, Honest, Beautiful to celebrate her captivating moves. Unlike many performers who relied on elaborate productions, Shakira kept things raw and real. She took the stage with minimal makeup, her natural hair flowing, and no backup dancers to steal the spotlight. It was all about her, her powerful voice, her mesmerizing dance moves, and the captivating stage presence that commanded attention. And often she danced barefoot, a skill she learned as a teenager to conquer her shyness. In fact, she even confessed to learning belly dancing by trying to flip a coin with her stomach. Talk about dedication and creativity. Shakira wasn't your average pop star. She was a blend of influences, a fusion of styles, and a force of nature on stage. Her music rocked, her voice soared, and her hips moved with a captivating rhythm that left audiences breathless. She was, and still is, a true original, a testament to the power of passion, dedication, and a whole lot of shaking hips. Once upon a love story, Shakira met Antonio, an Argentine lawyer, in 2000. Their connection sparked, and for 10 years they were a team, both in love and in business. They even felt like they were married, but papers weren't their style. 
However, in 2010, their paths diverged. They decided to take a break, hoping it was temporary, with Antonio still managing Shakira's career. Sadly, things changed. In 2013, Antonio sued Shakira for $100 million, claiming he was owed money after their business partnership ended. The court sided with Shakira, closing that chapter. Meanwhile, in 2011, love bloomed again for Shakira, this time with Spanish footballer Gerard Pique, 10 years her junior. They met on the set of Waka Waka, the 2010 World Cup anthem, and their love story unfolded. Barcelona became their home, and their family grew with the arrival of sons Milan and Sasha. For 11 years, they were a power couple admired by many, but in 2022, their journey together reached its end. They announced their separation, leaving fans with bittersweet memories. Shakira, ever curious, continued her self-discovery, even enrolling in an ancient philosophy course, proving that love stories may end, but the pursuit of knowledge and happiness never does. In 2017, Shakira's secret offshore dealings were exposed in the Paradise Papers, revealing a company used to move millions. This sparked Spanish authorities' interest, leading to investigations into her tax residency. Shakira insisted she lived mainly in the Bahamas, but prosecutors argued she was a Spanish resident for tax purposes due to her time spent with partner Pique in Spain. The 2021 Pandora Papers revealed further offshore company applications by Shakira, but her team claimed it was part of dissolving existing ones with no activity. Despite attempts to reach a deal, the singer opted for trial in 2022 to prove her innocence. The prosecution sought an eight-year prison sentence for alleged tax evasion of 14.5 million euros. Facing trial in November 2023, Shakira ultimately chose to settle. Citing the impact on her children's well-being, she agreed to a 7.5 million euros fine, closing the chapter on this tax saga. Beyond her music, Shakira is a multi-talented powerhouse. She took a break from singing in 1994 to act in a Colombian telenovela, playing the charming Luisa Maria, but that wasn't all. In 2010, she launched her own beauty line, S by Shakira, filling the world with delightful fragrances and lotions. Wanting to spread her wings further, she even became a playable bird in Angry Birds Pop what? and had her own video game, Love Rock, starring Shakira. But wait, there's more. In 2015, she joined the world of Disney, voicing the superstar gazelle in Zootopia and contributing the catchy tune, Try Everything. The movie was a smash hit, breaking box office records and leaving paw prints on everyone's hearts. And if that wasn't enough, Shakira stepped behind the scenes in 2021, becoming an executive producer for the dance competition series, Dancing With Myself. From acting and singing to video games and producing, Shakira proves she's a true force to be reckoned with, always ready to explore new avenues and share her talents with the world. Shakira wasn't just shaking her hips and topping charts, she was changing lives. At just 18, she saw the lack of education opportunities for Colombia's underprivileged children and decided to act. The Pies Descalzos Foundation, named after her album, sprouted building schools and nourishing young minds across the country. But Shakira's reach went beyond Colombia. She joined forces with other artists and leaders to champion early childhood education across Latin America. The World Bank, UN, and even FC Barcelona became allies, recognizing her dedication. Awards poured in from the UN for her foundation to MTV for her global advocacy. Shakira wasn't afraid to use her voice. She spoke out against discrimination, urging action for marginalized groups. Even presidents felt her heat when she challenged education budget cuts in Colombia. But her impact wasn't limited to words. From donating masks during a pandemic to joining Prince William's environmental initiative, Shakira proved her commitment went beyond borders and issues. Shakira's story isn't just about catchy tunes and electrifying dance moves. It's about using her platform to empower the next generation and fight for a brighter future. And that's a melody worth listening to.
Shakira, a name synonymous with Latin music, has woven a tapestry of success, influence, and cultural impact that stretches far beyond catchy tunes and electrifying dance moves. Hailing from Colombia, she rose to prominence not just as a singer, but as a global phenomenon, earning titles like Queen of Latin Music and Titan of Latin Pop. Her journey began early, fueled by a passion for music and dance. By the age of 10, she was writing songs and captivating audiences with her unique blend of Arabic and Latin influences. Despite initial setbacks, her talent and determination shone through, leading to her breakthrough with Pies Descalzos and Donde Están Los Ladrones. Shakira's impact wasn't confined to the Spanish-speaking world. With her infectious energy and undeniable talent, she crossed over, becoming one of the first Latin artists to achieve mainstream success in the English market. Tracks like Whenever, Wherever and Hips Don't Lie dominated charts worldwide, proving that language wasn't a barrier to her music's magic. But Shakira's influence extended far beyond catchy hooks. She redefined music videos with her captivating dance moves, inspiring a generation of artists. Her music transcended borders, blurring cultural lines and paving the way for other Latin artists to follow in her footsteps. Her impact wasn't limited to music. Shakira used her platform to advocate for social change, particularly in education. She became a voice for millions, earning recognition as a world's greatest leader and capturing the attention of world leaders like Barack Obama. Shakira's story isn't just about chart-topping hits and awards, it's about a young girl from Colombia who dared to dream big, broke down barriers, and used her voice to empower others. It's a testament to the power of music, dance, and passion to unite cultures and inspire change. So the next time you hear a Shakira song, remember it's not just music. It's a story of global impact and a legacy that continues to inspire. Shakira, the queen of hips don't lie, has her own personal walk of fame, not just in the music industry, but also in the world of statues. Back in 2006, her hometown Barranquilla went big, unveiling a six-ton, 16-foot-tall statue of the singer near the local stadium. It was a testament to her early success and a symbol of inspiration for young Barranquilleros. But Shakira's legacy reached beyond Colombia, in 2018, she visited her paternal grandmother's village in Lebanon, Tannerine. Touched by her roots, the village honored her by naming a square in the beautiful Cedars Reserve after her, Shakira Isabel Mubarak Square. Imagine taking a stroll through the Cedars, knowing you're walking in the footsteps of a global superstar. And the love didn't stop there. In December 2023, Barranquilla went even bigger gifting Shakira a 21-foot bronze statue that captured her iconic belly-dancing pose. Imagine the majestic Magdalena River flowing by as you admire the singer frozen in mid-dance, her long curls flowing and her arms raised in triumph. It's a powerful image that celebrates not just Shakira's talent, but also her journey from Barranquilla to the world stage. So the next time you hear Hips Don't Lie, remember it's not just a catchy song. It's an anthem for a woman who conquered the world and left her mark in stone and in hearts, from Colombia to Lebanon and beyond. Shakira, the name alone conjures up images of fiery hips and infectious rhythms, but behind the moves and the music lies a powerhouse of talent and dedication, recognized and celebrated the world over. Let's delve into the incredible story of her achievements. Shakira's music has transcended borders and languages, captivating audiences globally. With a staggering 75 million albums sold worldwide, she's cemented her place as one of the best-selling music artists ever. Her early success in Latin America laid the foundation, with 10 million albums sold before she even released Laundry Service in 2001. But Shakira didn't stop there. She crossed over, becoming the first artist from South America to top the US Billboard Hot 100, the Australian Area Chart, and the UK Singles Chart with her iconic song, Hips Don't Lie. This wasn't a one-hit wonder. She holds the record for most top 10 hits on Billboard's Hot Latin Songs Chart and has dominated charts across Latin America and the world. Her influence extends beyond music. In 2010, she was the most downloaded Latina artist, 
and her music videos broke records on YouTube and Vivo. Her social media presence is unmatched, with millions following her every move and applauding her philanthropic efforts. Shakira's impact has been acknowledged by prestigious institutions. She's received numerous awards, including Grammys, Latin Grammys, and even a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2014, she became the first artist to perform three times at the FIFA World Cup, solidifying her global reach. But Shakira's story isn't just about numbers and accolades. It's about a young girl from Colombia who dared to dream big and, through sheer talent and hard work, became a global icon. She's not just a queen of music. She's an inspiration to millions, proving that with passion and dedication, anything is possible.